So I'm here today with Andres. Um, he's one of the official verified level 40 crew. Thank you for joining me. No problem. Thank and, you for having me. Sure. Well, honestly, guys, Andres really led the way yesterday for our Wafu raid bin. I know a lot of people have a lot of questions. We did 13 hours of a live stream, being in the band from 6 a.m. till 7.30 p.m. Yeah, that's... Incredible. That's pretty incredible. I mean, I, I really like the fact that you decided to do it just because it was something different. Yeah, it was different. It was, it was an incredible feat to do that many raids in one day. I know um, we posted that on Twitter, like how many we did, and some people were like, wow, I haven't done that many raids ever, let alone in one day. So, I mean, and by the way, what kind of band were we using? Oh, we were losing a 12-passenger transit van. 12-passenger van. So we actually had all of the people that we were raiding with in one vehicle, which is why it was so easy to get everybody to begin the raid at the same time. We have met and just talked to so many different Verified Level 40 Club members. The club is pretty big. And by the way, it is currently closed, but I'm going to teach you guys today how we went about doing some Wafu stuff. Andres is here with me to give you guys some tips about how you can do it yourself, and we have a bunch of amazing announcements coming up. Are you excited for tomorrow? Absolutely. Oh my gosh. Tomorrow, April 10th, the Kanto event is starting. We don't know a whole lot, but we know enough to be excited, right? Absolutely. I think <laughs> I think there's some, some, some shinies, maybe? Something like that? <laughs> we'll see. Okay, so the first question that we need to know is, um, is there a perfect number of people to do Wafu rating with? Like, how, how do you maximize the raid timer? Uh, to optimize that, it depends of on the, let's say the maximum is 15 per se. 15 if we want to be in a, if we want to be in a band, the maximum is 15. Okay. Depending on the raid boss, you can optimize it. Okay. Latios right now, it can be two man. Two man Latios. Did you know that? And shout out to Pokey AK who has a video on that. Cool. But. In order to do waffle with it, we'll probably at least need seven. Okay, so seven to fifteen people is the best. And the reason for that is because the more people you have, the faster you can knock down the raid boss, which means less time in the raid, which means the faster you can get onto your next raid. Yeah. Which, by the way, we should talk about what, what is Wafu raiding? What's the definition of that, really? Uh, well, Wafu just means a, a Japanese style. Japanese style raiding. No. No? Wafu is just Japanese style. Japanese style, okay. But Wafu writing is Japanese, Japanese style, style writing. writing. Okay, so Wafu literally just means, as far as we know, Japanese style. So when you pair it with the word writing, it's Japanese style writing. And who's it's, the first originator of that, do we know? We don't, we're not sure, but we all heard of Brandon Tan that he just Brandon called Tan. it Wafu or Tap and Go. Tap and Go, that's another name. Um, for Wafu rating. A lot of people thought Wafu meant tap and go. It doesn't mean the same thing. It's just another way to say Wafu rating is tap and go. Yep, it's another name. Right. And tap and go is actually a great way to describe Wafu rating because you're literally tapping and going to the next raid. Yep. Once you get to the next raid, you're tapping, you're going to the next raid. Tap yep. and go. Yep. Cool. And Brandon Tan and also Pogo King, right, in Canada. Yeah. They're it, great examples of Wafu raiders. Yep. And they're also part of the Verified Level 40 Club. Absolutely. Yeah, both of them are. Nice. Now, the club is closed currently, though, right? Yeah, that is correct. Correct. And shout out to our friend Melissa Zabowski, um, who you guys have seen in my other videos. There's a team of about, what, 11 or 12 people who have to go through all of these verifications. You actually verify people, too. Yeah. It's a total of 18 people currently that go through these verifications. Yeah. And as I kind of told her and show her there's about 2,000 people in the list in an Excel spreadsheet with all these stats that they submitted as well as their their KP points. Uh, king points. Yeah, king points. Uh, uh, it's just a summary of whoever, all the people that are currently in the club, like their stats compared to every, like right. all the, co the comparison of all the people that are currently in the club. So, so we rank among each other. That's, it's a lot of people trying to get verified into the 40 Club, especially after Trainer Tips, myself and Reversal, and DX1 put the spotlight on you guys and brought this whole club to light that even existed. This club has been around since the beginning of the game, pretty much. It has been, for, it has been known for a while, and um, yeah, it just, it kind of like, it, blew it was up. a little bit of in the down, down low until it blew up right. after the meetup last week, right? And it is international, by the way. A lot of people are like, oh, this is so exclusive, like it's just this crew in the U.S. No, no, no. Brandon Tan, who is from Singapore, King from, the, from Canada, people all over the world, Reversal in the Netherlands, yeah. people globally, the top players who play Pokemon Go in the world are in this club. Yeah, that's, so, that's a good way to put it. 
Yes. And it's, so it's all international, and they're not being exclu- like they're not being picky about who it is. They want to know if you're a top player in the Pokemon Go world, you're going to be in this club, and your stats are going to speak for yourself. However, due to um, you know them making sure that they do keep it legit and that you do have the best players in the world in the club, it takes a while for you to go through the entire verification process. So if you're on the waiting list to get into the level 40 club, myself included, you got to be patient, guys. You know, patience is a virtue. And remember that these are real people, not computers, going through and verifying each player. Yep. And it's an extensive process to make sure that all your Pokemon are caught legit and all that stuff. Yeah, there's different different parameters that we go through, different questions. It's it's it takes a it takes a while. And from player to player, depending on the amount they travel, where they live, they, it it takes a while. Right. People who travel a lot, like me or Trainer Tips, somebody like that, we're harder to verify because it kind of looks. It looks weird, like who really travels that much, but surprisingly, a lot of Pokemon Go players do travel a lot. Yeah. Um, so, what is the benefit of being in level 40 club? Like, what's the point? Uh, for me, for example, it's just a way to improve myself or compare myself to mm. other players that are way better than me. Yeah. Uh, that, that, is, that is one of the few things that keep me going and playing as hard as I do. Because I'm, I'm already level 40, so there's not, there's not much more than the game okay. after that. That's a gr- I'm glad you said that because while we were doing the 13 hour live stream, which by the way, I am going to make those two live streams public, um, YouTube had to cut it off during that first initial stretch, so I'm going to have actually two videos that are going to be made public for our entire time that we're in the van. And it's more like, I'm not expecting everybody to watch all 13 hours, but it's more like just showing the world like, hey, like literally start to finish, this is what we did. It's more like a documentary. Yeah, I, it will be interesting. I actually mentioned it to part of the crew today. I'm like. We should do a wash party and watch the 13 hours of how we, what we did. Mm. I, can, I, I think that we might be able to improve but after we look at it. Yeah, that's a, like a play-by-play, like watching it like sports. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I always, say, I always tell people, I think of Pokemon Go like it is an eSport. It's yeah. a serious competition. And I think the 40 Club, like you said, this is a group of players. A lot of people ask me, like, what's the point of doing a Lucky 8 past 40? Like, what's the point? What's the point of past 40? You guys have push each other and you challenge each other to be better and better every day. Yeah. I like that. So it's all about friendly competition, you know, everybody's competitive. Yeah. You know, you got to be able to handle uh, competitive players, yeah. honestly, past level 40. That's what it's all about. Nice. Okay. So uh, we got some amazing stuff to show you guys as the result of our 99 raids yesterday. We got but, some great but, stuff. But, but Holy, what what about one more thing? Oh, Before yeah. That, before that, let me let me just say uh, because there's usually a thousand gym limit. Uh, I lost two gyms on Friday night. That took us to a place that we found something pretty cool. Oh yeah! So while we were gymming to you know make up Andres's lost gym, guess what we found? Okay, ready? Should we show them? Yep. Three, two, one. Oh man! Let me make sure the camera's focused on this. Oh yeah, that is two 100% dittos. Let's go ahead and appraise them. So, you guys can see, appraise. And by the way, we're both Team Valor. And I've got Simply Amazes, HP, Attack, Defense, and Blown Away. Wow. So, yes, you guys can see that on my screen now because I'm also screen recording it. So, and thank you, Andres, for naming it after me. Actually, I'm going to name mine after Andres as well. If I get 100% data, I'll max it out. So I maxed it out later at night. Yeah, you maxed it out. So what does it max out to? Uh, 718. 718 CP. I need to still max mine out. You guys can see. Uh, we caught it at 161 CP. We found it in an airport parking lot. Go to airport parking lots to find dittos. And yes, uh, dittos can be found in parking lots because that's where a lot of common spawns are. Mm-hmm. So if you're still on your Mew quest and you need to find a ditto, go to a parking lot, right? Yeah, or wait for partly cloudy weather. Partly cloudy weather, yes. You have much better chances of finding a ditto during that, so great. And can we see uh, some special Pokemon that you found? I know you had some shinies. Yeah. That right there, that, that's just a 100% Beldum. Yes, we were watching Andres in the car appraise this thing. He hatched it, incredible, and you just and here's the funny part is right before he hatched it or like a little bit before that you were yep. like man I really want 100 percent build them, bam hatched yep. a 100 percent build them, incredible. So right now it's at a level 40. I I maxed it out. Maxed out last night. He, so you're gonna evolve it? Yeah, why not? Oh man, he's gonna evolve it. Let me make sure this is recording. Go ahead, yeah. 
This is awesome. Okay. Check it out, guys. This is live recording right here. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. So. Wow. 100% metang right there. And this is gonna be kind of cool. Pokedex entry, metang, 100%. Yeah, I just ended since just to keep the game interesting. I have not evolved anything that is under 98% for Gen 3. Wow, that's amazing. So, hashes or findings in the wild, I just, I have been waiting just to keep it interesting for myself. That's awesome. Let me know in the comments below if you're kind of the same kind of player as Andres, where you wait until you have good IV CP, or good IV mainly, good IVs. to evolve anything in the Pokedex. Actually, I did the same thing for Gen 3. I mm -hmm. waited for a good IV. Amazing, congratulations Thank on your you. Pokedex entries. That's incredible. Wow, let's get some 100% IV Pokedex entry metang hype in the comments. Oh, we gotta show that, we gotta show that. He got the shiny Absol out of the entire Wafu van. Your luck was just on fire the other day. Um, and then, like, right before, we took a different turn. And he got a shiny Pikachu, just totally in the wild. Yeah. This I is just incredible. picked it up and it was a little more toasty. Toasty, toasty <laughs> Pikachu hype. And I, guys, check out my phone screen really quick. Look at all these Latios that we got. I got so many. Um, honestly, this is one of the best parts about Wafu rating is that if you don't have 100% legendary Pokemon, you're probably gonna have a great shot at finding one. I myself saw two 100% Pokemon. One did get away from me, unfortunately. That's just RNG. But I did capture this one 100% Latios. So thank you for leading the bin uh, to victory. And that was great. So make sure if you're into Wafu rating, you know, just being the fastest raider possible to get as many raids as you can do between 6 a.m. and 7.30, at least that's what it is for the U.S. What do you think about how Europe now has later raid timers? Um, I'm not aware of it. I don't have any trips planned to Europe yet. <laughs> <laughs> right. But we know Reversal, who's yeah. also in the 40 Club, he's been taking advantage of doing the later raids. Apparently their raids go until like 10.30. That's, that's a lot. That's interesting. That's a lot. That's a game changer. So we'll see if that later timer for raids comes to the U.S. Um, yeah, but now we have some awesome news to share with you guys. It says, a breaking awesome. news event, new event starting soon. Trainers, yeah. starting April 10th, really? will be hosting a special celebration in honor of the Kanto region Pokemon Go. Keep your eyes on the official Pokemon Go website and social media channels. Now, we have already seen a lot of images. Actually, I'm going to put up this one, bam, right here. There's an image right there of all the shiny Pokemon. We've seen shiny Pidgeot, shiny Rattata, and shiny Raticate were leaked. Um, thanks to Trails, or Charles however you pronounce your name, lovely French Pokemon Go player. But what do you think? Are you ready for this? I'm ready for it. This is amazing. Honestly, quests, field research, and the hunt down to find new legendaries and new mythical Pokemon, especially people who've never had a chance to catch these Pokemon before, like Moltres. Um, this is an amazing thing, a great addition to the game. And uh, let's, really quick, let's tell me in the comments below, what do you think is going to happen in this week's research breakthrough? What do you think is going to be in the box? I'm not. I don't feel. I don't, no, I'm not gonna speculate. And no? I hope it's gonna be another legendary Pokemon. Right. It will be a legendary Pokemon. We know from the description on the Pokemon Go Live website, it's gonna be legendary. The special research is for mythical Pokemon, and the research breakthroughs are for legendaries. So you wanna? I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go with Articuno. Articuno. I was actually gonna say Articuno too. Um, a lot of people have been saying Zapdos, so, but we're going to put our money on Arcano. Let's do it. I'm, I'm doing it. I'm going down. Let me know in the comments section below if you love speculating and have fun. Remember, this is just speculation, but if you like doing that, leave a comment below as to what you think is going to be in the research breakthrough box. And also, let me know which Pokemon you're the most excited for to get a new shiny for with the Cancer release. I want to get that shiny Eevee. i got to get that shiny Flareon. What about you? Any shiny favorites from Cancel? Uh, the Lapras. Lapras. Lapras is purple and a shiny. That one's going to make people that, go nuts. That one, that one I will have to go to a competition to hunt down a shiny Lapras oh for somebody God. else. And you can hatch Lapras though too, don't forget. Yep. Lapras are an eggs. Oh my gosh, we're going to hatch so many things. If you hatch or catch a shiny Pokemon from the Kanto region that's never been shiny before, please make sure you tweet it at me. Um, I'll put it, the screenshot of it in my next video. So if you want to be in my next video, I will put your name on there. It's Pokemon Master Holly on Twitter, PKMN Master Holly. So we'll see you guys next time, and wish us luck we're going shiny hunting tomorrow for sure, right? Absolutely. Let's do it. Good luck on your shiny hunts. See you guys then. Yay!